This is the tale of a young teenage girl who found herself alone in a weathered house after the tragic loss of her parents. However, when new neighbors moved in, a remarkable change unfolded. On a chilly evening, Sophia Miller, an eight-year-old, rose from her bed due to insomnia, contemplating the car crash that claimed her parents six months prior. Since that fateful incident, she resided alone in the aging house they had constructed on the outskirts of California. Despite facing difficulties, Sophia was determined not to end up in an orphanage. Opting for a job in the city, she struggled to find one until one bright morning when fate intervened. Discovering a wallet on the floor, she realized it contained a substantial sum of money. In a heartwarming display of integrity, she promptly returned the wallet to its owner, Mr. Roberts. Grateful for her sincerity, Mr. Roberts asked how he could repay her kindness. Sophia shared her story, and touched by her plight, he offered her a well-paying job at his restaurant. Overjoyed, Sophia accepted the opportunity, expressing her gratitude for the newfound source of livelihood. Thriving at work, Sophia continued to live in her parents' house due to its proximity to her workplace. One evening, she noticed the adjacent building's door wide open, piquing her curiosity. Days later, she discovered new tenants had moved in. In a display of neighborly goodwill, she visited them, only to be greeted by a skinny little girl named Emma, and her brother Andrew. Despite feeling uneasy, Sophia introduced herself, and Andrew explained that they had to care for their sick mother, who couldn't feed herself. Touched by their situation, Sophia sympathized with their plight, realizing they were confined indoors to attend to their ailing mother every day. After a heartfelt conversation with her new neighbors, Sophia bid them farewell and headed to work. A few days later, anticipation filled the air as it was time for her to receive her first salary. When the day concluded, Mr. Roberts handed her a brown envelope filled with cash, surpassing her expected earnings. Perplexed by the unexpected generosity, she approached his office to express her gratitude. To her surprise, Mr. Roberts, in his deep and calm voice, shared a poignant revelation. He explained that Sophia reminded him of his daughter, who had left home over two decades ago after a minor argument. At almost 72 years old, he believed his daughter, Maria Smith, must be over 40 now. Tears welled up in his eyes as he spoke, leaving Sophia puzzled by the emotions he revealed. After learning about Mr. Robert's heartbreaking past, Sophia confided in a fellow restaurant worker, who explained the details of Maria's departure. Devastated by the loss of his daughter, Mr. Roberts had searched for her tirelessly, praying for her return, but she never came back. Touched by the elderly man's story, Sophia felt a deep sympathy for him. That evening, after finishing her work, she couldn't shake off the thoughts of her neighbors facing hardships. Understanding their struggles, she decided to bring them some food. Upon reaching their apartment, Andrew and Emma expressed gratitude for the thoughtful gesture, enjoying a healthy meal for the first time in a while. Later that night, Andrew opened up to Sophia about their journey to a new life. He shared how he, along with his little sister and sick mother, had moved from another town in pursuit of a fresh start. This unfolded due to Andrew's father's neglect, as he squandered the family savings on alcohol. Consequently, Andrew's mother had to take on multiple jobs to support the family. Unfortunately, she fell seriously ill, requiring surgery that the family couldn't afford. Trembling as he spoke, Andrew shared their dire situation with Sophia, explaining that he couldn't seek employment because he had to care for his ailing mother and younger sister. Hearing their struggles, Sophia felt a deep empathy, realizing that Andrew wasn't the only one who had faced adversity. After a moment of speechlessness, she assured Andrew that she would do her best to help his family. The next morning, tears streaming down her face, Sophia approached Mr. Roberts in his office. She laid out the situation, pleading for a loan to aid Andrew's mother. Sophia promised to repay the amount gradually from her monthly salary. Mr. Roberts, after a thoughtful pause, spoke in his calm voice, expressing his willingness to assist. I'll help this poor woman because I may be in a similar situation someday too. You don't have to worry. 
I'll ask my manager to send the money to the hospital's account, he assured Sophia. Overwhelmed with excitement and gratitude, Sophia embraced Mr. Roberts, who, moved by her tenderness, couldn't hold back tears. That evening, eager to share the good news with Andrew and his sister, Sophia was surprised to find them looking sad. My mom is very sick, and she has to be taken to the clinic, little Emma said, revealing a new layer of challenges that the family was facing. As she fought back tears, Sophia reassured the little girl, it's okay. I found the money for the surgery, and your mother will be fine soon. Fortunately, Mr. Roberts kept his word. The next day, he transferred the money into the hospital's account. A few days later, doctors successfully performed the needed operation on Andrew's sick mother, and she was recovering well. After the successful operation, Sophia and Andrew went to Mr. Roberts' office to express their gratitude. However, upon seeing a picture that Andrew had, Mr. Roberts became visibly shaken. The picture showed a younger version of himself standing with his wife on their wedding day, the same photo that had disappeared the day his daughter, Maria Smith, left home many years ago. Overwhelmed with emotion, Mr. Roberts asked for Andrew's mother's name. When Andrew answered, Maria Smith, the truth became clear. Maria Smith was Mr. Roberts's long-lost daughter. The revelation left Sophia and Andrew in shock. Mr. Roberts, after years of searching, was finally reunited with his daughter and two grandchildren. In the hospital, as father and daughter embraced, they asked each other for forgiveness, and Mr. Roberts realized that hiring Sophia had been a blessing in disguise. Over the years, Sophia's connection with Andrew grew stronger, leading to their eventual marriage. At the wedding, Mr. Roberts expressed his gratitude to Sophia, saying, who would have thought a chance meeting could change my life forever? I don't think it was a coincidence that we met. It was meant to be. Thank you and welcome. I am proud to call you my family. The story concludes with the narrator inviting viewers to reflect on the lessons learned from this tale and expressing gratitude for their attention. Let's continue. This compassionate man discovered an abandoned baby girl on a wooden bench. Overwhelmed with empathy, he brought the infant home. Several years later, an unexpected miracle occurred. Dmitri, a young man residing in Moscow, worked as a consultant for various companies, keeping him away from home most of the time. Despite his financial stability, he struggled with unhappiness. A few months into his marriage, a tragic accident claimed the lives of his wife and daughter. Since that fateful day, life had never been the same for him. One morning, as he prepared for work, he checked an old briefcase for necessary documents. A photograph of his wife and daughter fell out, shattering his heart. Amidst tears, he expressed, I wish you both were here with me. Living every day without you both in my life has been very hard. Why does life have to be unfair to me? Though he cried intensely for a while, he realized he couldn't change the situation. Collecting himself, he picked up his bag, got into his car, and headed to work. On his way back, the freezing November weather in Russia enveloped the city. Stuck in traffic, Dmitri decided to grab some snacks. Parking his Lara Vesta subcompact car, he entered a snack store. After purchasing some food, as he stepped out, he heard the cry of a baby. Initially thinking he was daydreaming, a closer look revealed an abandoned baby on a bench. Stunned, Dmitri whispered in shock, I really can't believe this. Why would someone abandon a baby in this terrible cold? Puzzled about how the baby girl ended up there, he discovered that ten months after her birth, her parents filed for divorce due to a serious misunderstanding. The newborn initially stayed with her mother. However, as time passed, the woman, struggling with unemployment and barely surviving, found it challenging to care for the baby. In a desperate attempt to ensure the child's well-being, she left the baby on a bench, hoping someone would notice and provide help. That someone turned out to be Dmitri. Various thoughts raced through Dmitri's mind upon discovering the infant, but he knew he couldn't ignore her and leave her in the cold. Determined to help, he took the baby girl home. To his surprise, as he lifted her, 
the baby stopped crying and smiled, instantly brightening up Dimitri's day. He felt an immediate connection with her. Upon reaching home, Dimitri entrusted the baby's care to his maid, explaining how he found her. The maid, feeling compassion for the baby, attended to her needs as if she were her own. Dimitri, too, was committed to ensuring the baby's well-being, providing everything the maid requested. After a few weeks of caring for the baby, Dimitri named her Anna. Due to his job requiring frequent travel, he would bring Anna to a child care center during his work-related trips. There, she learned essential skills. Despite his busy schedule, Dimitri made a conscious effort to visit Anna whenever possible. He showered her with gifts and quality time, and over time, they formed a strong bond akin to that of a father and daughter. As Anna grew older, Dimitri ensured she knew the true story from a young age, understanding that he wasn't her biological father. During one visit, Dimitri went through Anna's drawings and was deeply moved by one that depicted a father, mother, and daughter holding hands, strolling down a bustling street. This drawing evoked memories of his late wife and daughter, reminding him of the beautiful days they spent together in the park. It was as if Dimitri could feel his daughter's soft hand in his and hear his wife's laughter, missing them immensely. The memory brought tears to his eyes, surprising Anna, who didn't know how to react. In her sweet voice, she apologized if she had done something wrong and expressed her desire for a happy family, explaining that's why she drew that particular picture. She reassured Dimitri, expressing her love and gratitude for everything he had done for her. Anna's words brought comfort to Dimitri, and he held her hands, reciprocating the love. However, he couldn't bring himself to explain why he had cried, knowing she was just seven at the time. On Anna's tenth birthday, Dimitri paid her a special visit, staying with her for several days. They enjoyed daily outings and had a lot of fun together. When it was time for Dimitri to return to work, he sensed the need to share something serious with Anna. With anticipation, Anna listened as Dimitri revealed that he had officially adopted her as his child. Overwhelmed with emotion, Anna hugged him, expressing her gratitude and love. She thanked him for always being there and promised to be an obedient daughter, declaring him the only father she knew and the only parent she needed. As Dimitri got into his car, he assured Anna that he would come back soon to take her home with him. He also shared his decision to quit his job, ending his frequent travels so he could be home with her every day. In the following months, Dimitri worked on preparing for Anna's permanent arrival. He left his job, using some of his savings to set up a restaurant close to his home. Gratefully, Dimitri's business flourished, attracting numerous customers in no time. When the moment arrived to bring his adopted daughter home, he picked her up from the child care center and made every effort to ensure her happiness. After enrolling her in a new school, where she excelled in studies and made new friends, Dimitri became actively involved in her daily routine, taking her to school in the morning and picking her up at noon. Weekends were filled with outings and gifts, but beyond material provisions, Dimitri imparted life lessons and expressed his profound love for Anna. Anna, thriving under Dimitri's care, excelled academically and earned a scholarship after topping her class for three consecutive years. Proud of her achievements, Dimitri saved for her tertiary education. Upon gaining admission to study architecture at the university, Anna realized her childhood dream. After completing her studies, Anna achieved remarkable success in her career, acknowledging that her life wouldn't have taken such a positive turn without her adoptive dad. One sunny morning, she surprised Dimitri with a visit and, after a heartfelt conversation, took him to a luxurious house she had built for him. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Anna explained that the house was a token of appreciation for all Dimitri had done for her. She assured him he no longer needed to work, as she would provide for all his needs. Dimitri, moved to tears, hugged his daughter, realizing in that moment that picking her up from that chilly night on the bench was no mistake. This heartwarming story teaches the importance of compassion, love, and the transformative power of family bonds. What lessons do you draw from this narrative? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time.